Holy moly guys, look at that stock thermal paste. That is just dry. It hasn't even spread properly and it looks like all of it is still stuck to the CPU block. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. So for today's little project, we will be swapping out the stock thermal paste on the Corsair H150i Pro liquid cooler with an aftermarket thermal paste and we will see if it makes any difference in the temperatures. So first, the configuration. This computer is running the Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core CPU. The motherboard is MSI Meg X570 Ace and the graphics card is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070. So right now we are rendering a video and it looks like the CPU has settled around 86 degrees Celsius. So that is the hottest temperature 86 degrees, 57 was the minimum when the computer was idle and right now it is at about 86 degrees celsius and the video render has been going on for about 10 minutes so yeah the liquid is nice and warm in the radiator and the ambient temperature right now is 25.6 degrees celsius by the way guys just so you know all of the settings on the motherboard are completely stock so the processor is not overclocked by the way i did turn on precision boost overdrive in ryzen master but all the other settings are stock, even the voltages. Can you guys hear that? It is raining outside and I can't really record a video when there is so much noise. So we gotta wait until the rain stops and then we will continue. So finally it has stopped raining and I am running Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The game is pretty much maxed out but it is running at a slightly lower resolution because I really want to push the frame rate. So right now the game is bound by the GPU which is pinned at 98-99%. Check this out, the CPU is actually running hotter than the GPU. So the game has been running for at least 15 minutes now and it seems like we are fluctuating between 65 degrees and 69 degrees Celsius. Occasionally it touches 72 degrees. But yeah, I would say it's averaging around 67, 68 degrees Celsius. Now, I'm not sure what to say about the idle temps because the idle temps on the Ryzen 9 3900X are quite erratic. So the lowest idle temp we've got is 51 and highest is 78 degrees Celsius. And I would say the average idle temperature is at about 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let us take the cooler apart, reapply the thermal compound and see if it makes any difference. So the new thermal paste I'll be using is from Cooler Master. This is their Master Gel Maker Thermal Compound. So I think this is one of their better thermal pastes. This is the box. It's a little bit old. I bought this thing last year. So yeah, so got a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to clean out the old thermal compound. Okay, just a quick update because I have the side panel taken out. I'm also gonna take the GPU out and see how much dust buildup there is and if there is any dust buildup on the fans, I'm gonna clean that. So check this out guys, I've taken the graphics card out and it looks like there is almost no dust buildup at all on the fans and on the heatsink. So this card is fairly clean. And I built my PC back in December 2019, so it's been about 7 or 8 months. And this graphics card is still quite clean. That is because these fans will shut off if the graphics card temperature is below 60 degrees Celsius. So most of the time when this computer is idle, when I'm not playing any games, these fans will not spin up. So that's one of the reasons why everything is so nice and clean. By the way, this is from MSI, this is their gaming Z card. And also taking a look at that chipset fan that also looks clean, looks like there is no dust inside over there. So that's the thing, these fans, this fan on the chipset spins only when the chipset gets hot enough. And same goes for the graphics card, that's why these fans are nice and clean. Okay, so I've got the CPU block taken out and check out that thermal compound, the way it has spread. That thermal compound is just dry. So this is how it looks like on the CPU block. So the way this thing has spread, I'm not sure it has spread properly. So that might be why the CPU runs so hot. But I can recall tightening these things up properly. But still, why hasn't that thermal compound spread properly? Anyways, I've got some isopropyl alcohol over here. We will wipe that old thermal compound and put a new one. Okay, so I've got a little blob of thermal compound there. 
and that should be more than enough for the entire CPU. So let me just put this thing back together and then we will test out the temperatures. Alright guys we are back and it has been about 2 days since I swapped out the thermal paste. So the new thermal paste should have had enough time to settle down in the imperfections on the CPU and the CPU block. Anyways the lowest temperature I have seen on this computer is 42 degrees celsius and that is about 9 degrees celsius drop from the previous reading. The room temperature is 25.6 degrees celsius. And everything else is the same, the fans are running at the same speed and now speaking of the fans, let me open Corsair IQ. So the fan profile is set to quiet, this is what I usually keep my fan profile at. So the fans do run at the lowest speed possible, that is about 800 rpm, the pump is set to extreme which is running at 2.8k rpm. So now let's render a video and see what's the maximum temperature on the CPU. But I think so far so good, I have never seen the CPU drop down to 42 degrees celsius. Anyway, let's go ahead and run this. And I'm gonna let this thing run for about 15 minutes and then I will be back. Alright, so results are in. The rendering process has been going on for about 18 minutes. Looks like the hottest CPU temperature has been 75 degrees celsius. Previously, on the old thermal compound, we had maxed out at 86. So that's an 11 degree celsius drop on the CPU and this is with the same ambient temperature 25.6 degrees celsius, same fan speed, same everything. I'm also rendering the exact same video. So yeah, we have achieved an 11 degree celsius temperature drop after replacing the stock thermal compound on the H150i Pro with an aftermarket one. And also I have noticed one more thing. These system fans are running at a slightly lower RPM, so previously they were running at 1400 RPM. These are the top and the rear fans, so they are also running slightly slower, so overall there is less system noise. And let's open the IQ software. These fans are running at 900 RPM, so this is still set to quiet. So overall I'm quite impressed. So now I will fire up a game and we will see how the temperatures are like on the CPU. Okay, so here we are in shadow of the Tomb Raider, all of the settings are the same and it looks like the CPU temperature has settled around 56. So before replacing the thermal paste, it was 66 and now it is 56 so that is a 10 degree celsius temperature drop. So that's quite awesome. And the only thing that we did was swap out the stock thermal paste with an aftermarket one. So finally coming to the idle temperatures, looks like the CPU is idling at 47 degrees celsius. Occasionally it will jump to 55 and even 60 because I've got some background tasks running, but mostly it is idle. But yeah, if you guys remember it was idling at 60 degrees celsius before, now it dips down to 42 degrees celsius which is the lowest I have seen on the CPU. So the thing is was the effort of opening up the glass panel and taking out the cpu block and redoing the thermal paste worth it yes absolutely because you guys have seen we have achieved a 13 degree celsius temperature drop while rendering videos so yeah i guess the effort of redoing the thermal paste was worth it and just so you guys know the old thermal paste was actually caked onto the cpu block so i had to scrape the old thermal paste out even after applying isopropyl alcohol that was not coming off so I'm guessing the old thermal paste was completely dried up. So yeah guys, I guess that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer them. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.